Let me show you a few different ways of cutting lines in Affinity Designer. So here we are. The first way is to simply scale the line back. So if you select the line, maybe you don't need to cut it out. Maybe you can just grab the node tool. That's this wide cursor. And then you can push one side of the line back in to make it shorter. Maybe that's what you need. In case that's not enough, we can actually add a new node somewhere. So I can now still with the same node tool add a new node by clicking on the line. Take a look, this little point is called node. And then from the top, I can select break curve for that point. And after that, I will end up having two lines. Take a look. So we add a additional points on the line and then we select break curve at the top. Let's do it once more. Node tool, we're adding a point, and then you click here at the very top, break curve, and you break the line into two lines. All right, but actually there's a proper scissor tool. Actually, it's a bit hidden, so take a look. I select the line, and I search for the knife. Knife tool. By default, it's for cutting shapes, but in our case, we got just a line and the knife tool detect that. Take a look, when I hover my knife tool, it's changed to scissors. By clicking on the line, we can make those cuts and by kind of clicking outside the line and going through, we're making knife slices for dividing into multiple lines. So take a look, I may cut here, but I also slice it from this side. So that's how you can use knife tool, select the line, use the knife to slice the line as you please. All right, then you can just use the regular move tool to just move those two slices away because by default they will be still in the same position. And the last thing, we can do the very same thing on this last guy here using no tool and then break curve or alternatively just the knife tool from the list and slice it through. And then it still appear like a one line, but in the layer panel, you can see that three separate lines. So simply you can relocate the one that you don't need. So that's how we can cut lines in Affinity Designer. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.